welcome ladies and gentlemen i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this week is the third week of october oh my god it went so fast so fast ladies and gentlemen october we are already by the birthdays of the scorpion so on the 22nd which is this day so we have 19 20 21 22 on the 22nd which is the center and this is so good we are seeing that the energies are split and if you notice the 22nd is when um the end of the libra season on the 22nd here you are seeing this then we see we begin with the scorpion season people who were born on the 23rd 24th 25th okay so ladies and gentlemen this is going to be a rough year it's going to be a year of judgment um be aware of this um here you can see the separation that is air people and this is the scorpion so um here we can see whatever is happening and transpiring um where we are going to be finding out what exactly is transpiring in the world um in this year remember that this is a year reading um it has a solar year what we mean by solar year is that this year composed of uh, um judgment judgment is a water energy so there's truth is going to be coming out both for liberans and uh, for scorpions okay what i'm going to be doing in order to make this reading very easier is that i first do the liberans then i do the scorpion so i'm going to um um, put a stamp at the bottom of this video so that you can understand where does the scorpion um, begins so first let us look at the liberance now it is a year of judgment with an um um an a uh, corporation institution so a lot of you at work some sort of a issues is going to be coming up um, with your business at work and with your business some sort of uh, issues will be coming up so um, you have to be aware of this in this year so in government institutes or organizations some of you could be having problems um, so be aware there is judgment call you could be having problems with um, 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 you know what you call it insurance company hospitals that sort of a thing um, I see problems, issue, and situation is coming up. Now, let's go in and look at what is transpiring. First, we're going to be looking at the liberals. So what I see for the liberals is some sort of a news is going to be coming in um, about work, about your business. Um, it is going to be good. So that is a positive alignment of energy. I see a whole lot of you overcome some sort of a secrecy um, that people were keeping against you at work. And it has to do with the king of uh, um, cups. And I see that whoever this person is, you're going to be turning your back to the king of cups. I see you're dealing with a boss. Some of you are dealing with a boss and I see you're going to be successful over this person because they find out what this person have done together with the king of pentacles. Okay, so what we're seeing here is some sort of a overcoming, some sort of a situation, a whole lot of secrecy um, that a cancer man had. This was an ex-boss for some of you, or it was just a business person that had a whole lot of secrets. They're seeing exactly what this person have done and how this person have created a lot of secrets. Truths are coming out. You're going to be successful, successful at your work if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. A man, yeah, the king. A man, you're going to be successful over this person. They saw what this person have done. Some sort of a good news is going to be coming in for you, Liberant. They're going to be making a decision about a Capricorn man. They realize that a Capricorn man together with a Cancer man had a whole lot of secrets. Um, how they have falsified some sort of a documentation in a corporation institution. And I see some of you Liberans, your burden is going to be over. So be aware of this. So what I see you Liberans are doing and is dealing with in the, in this year of a judgment. Judgment is coming up. Uh, judgment is coming up on some of you bosses who had some secrets. It's coming out. And I see some sort of a government corporation institution is going to be coming down on this person for what this person has done. 
I see a whole lot of you are celebrating and victory at work. It is going to be good. Some of you are going to um, start your own business or change business. However, that is coming up for you and you are going to be okay. A lot of you have turned your back on a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man. Um, together, you're going to be finding out that a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man together with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn had created some issues, some problems, some burdens for you, but you're going to be getting out of this. So if you notice, a lot of people are looking for new jobs, new corporation, new institution. A lot of you, a boss, had created some sort of an issue. You're going to be victorious and successful over this person. Then we see a whole lot of you are looking for a new start and is a successful overcome a situation with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. I see um, whatever situation that some of you had with someone who was using their powers, you're victoriously successful overcome. Secrets about some sort of a secret collaboration and um and 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 some sort of a burden is coming to an end for some of you you're going to be successful truths are coming out and you're going to be successful in making some decision over a corporation institution so this is going to be good let's see um what is coming up so for the people who were born on the 19 i see you're dealing with a boss and you're going to be successfully overcoming whatever issue that someone has used their powers in order to steer you in a direction and to do some sort of a false sight and deceptiveness i see you stand your ground against these people and uh, um, it can be a cancer and the Aries that you're going to be having some sort of issues with in this year. But I see judgment is going to be coming down on these two people um, because of something that they have done. It could be two businessmen or these two people could have worked together with each other. And I see judgment call is coming down on these people. So it is going to be a good year because you're going to be victorious and successfully overcoming some sort of an issue that these people had created in your world. As we look at the people who were born on the 20th, um, cups, you guys are cups, all the people from the 19th until the 22nd, um, you are cups, your cups with the um, water sign, okay? So you could have a lot of water sign energies. So, so let's look at the people who were born on the 20th. You have the energy of the eye princess in this year. The eye princess is going to be helping you to get over some sort of a horrible play that was played against you that has to do with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion man. I see you're going to be victoriously overcoming this situation. Whoever this man is and whatever this man has done, they have found out what this person have done, seen the truth um, of this person and the secrecy that this person had carried and how this person had created a whole lot of issue for a lot of you liberals. So secrets is going to come out. Judgment call is going to be coming out. It's a year where a whole lot of judgment call, a whole lot of information is going to be coming out. But you liberals are going to be overcoming a cancer or a Pisces or a scorpion over what they have done and the secrets uh, that you both had whole. Um, so you have two, six, and uh, two and six. Two and six is really eight, so it's a good possible prosperous year, infinity wisdom. As we move on, we're looking at the people, and sorry, I need to go back and look. Ooh, I need to go back and look at the people who were born under 19. You have 33, so I see um, the Ascendance Masters are going to be working um, with you guys. It's going to be a huge judgment call where the Ascendance Masters is going to be working um, with you guys. So then as we move along, we're looking at the people who were born on the 21st of um, uh, Jul of uh, October. Um, this is going to be good for you. It's going to be a successful year when it comes on to business. If you have business or you're looking for a work or you're looking to find um, some sort of a way to create in your own wealth. Some of you who were in a relationship with a Virgo, you're going to be successful over this Virgo. Um, they are going to be finding out what this Virgo has done. Some of you who um, have been... Um, Having some sort of an issue at work, you're going to be um, successfully celebrating, coming out of these issues. 
and I see the success of infinity abundance, especially if you are someone who have your business this year, it's going to be a very, very good year for you if you were born on the 21st of July. So be aware of this and understand what is going on, what is transpiring and what is going to be coming up for you. It is going to be beautiful. So you have number eight and the sun 1919. Um, is 10, 1, and 0. Okay, so you have 0, 1, um, 8, 19, and 10. Okay, so this is good. It's a good positive year. Um, a lot of you who were dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, this person is in the reverse, and you're going to be overcoming what this person had created in your world. We're looking at the last cups, Librans, and, uh, you or the people who are born on the 22nd, 22nd of um, October. And what we're seeing for you guys is that I see you're going to be making a decision, some sort of a decision. I see your burdens is going to be over and you're going to be making some sort of a decision. Some of you that was working in a company, you're going to decide whether or not you're going to be going forward with this company, dealing with these people, and um, you're going to be realizing that you have been carrying burdens for people in a corporation institution. You're letting this burden down, and you're saying, this is over. I don't need to deal with this anymore, so I'm letting it go. So whoever that was dealing with some sort of an issue, problem, situation in a corporation institution, I see you're going to be letting this down and I see that you're going to be realizing that this no longer serves you. I want to walk away from this. I want to leave the situation behind me and move forward. So a lot of you are going to be thinking about changing jobs or leaving a corporation institution that, that is not uh, um, effective for you anymore and thinking about making changes moving forward in your life in a very positive way. And this is going to be good. So wonderful, wonderful, positive energy, wonderful alignment of energy. This is good. I'm seeing positive uh, changes that is going to be coming in. So you have five, you have two, and you have 10. You have zero, one, two, five, and 10. So that was it for the cups, Librans from the 19th of the month, right back until the 22nd, you are cups, Libran. So we're moving on to the Scorpions and the Scorpions begin from the 23rd, um, 24th, 25th. So I see a lot of you Scorpion ladies, 50 years and older, this year is going to be creating a huge, huge effect on you. However, this is coming up and transpiring. So Scorpions, I see some of you Scorpions were not seeing a situation very clearly about a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Now you are need to protect yourself from this person. This person has stolen a lot of money. I see a tower moment is going to be coming down on this person in this year. And you're going to be finding out what this person has done. I see you're going to be successfully ending a situation with a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. And this is going to be good. So a whole of you um, Scorpion ladies was not aware of some sort of a issues or some sort of a situation, some sort of a healing is going to be coming in. So I see some money is going to be returning to some of you Scorpions. You're going to be finding out and seeing the truth about what was happening um, with a Gemini and a Sagittarian. Um, a tower moment could be coming down on some of you Scorpion ladies, especially ladies that was born on the 24th. Ladies who were born on the 24th of October, a tower moment could be coming down on you ladies. An end is coming in for you ladies. Some sort of a information, some sort of a situation that you are dealing with ladies is coming to an end. Um, so be aware of this. Okay. So ladies 50 years and older or ladies and old, you could be having this, but there is beautiful, beautiful energies that is surrounding, um, um, especially you older ladies, the energy of the star and uh, Balance is surrounding you, all the ladies, and this is very, very beautiful. And a lot of you ladies were not seeing something about a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. This person is between the age of 18 and 45. And now you were blindfolded by this person, wasn't seeing the truth of who this person was, and now you're finding out who this person is. So it could be a child, or it could be someone in a corporation institution that has blindfolded you and and if, you know, pull the blinds over your eyes and you're going to be seeing them then this year. 
So let's look at the people who were born on the 23rd of October. On the 23rd of October, there's a tower moment is going to be coming down where you're going to be finally, finally seeing the truth about a whole lot of money. So some of you were blindfolded about a whole lot of money and was not aware how a whole lot of money was stolen from you. And I see that this money is going to be returned. You have also the energy of the eight. So whatever that was blocking your financial stability, I see a towel moment is coming to remove it. And you are going to be finding out that people have stolen, a corporation have stolen a lot of money for you. Lies and deceptiveness and the truth is going to be coming out. The money is going to be returning to you. So the stellar moment is very good um, because if, without the stellar moment, you would not find out what was happening and what was transpiring. And you stood up for something and you move away whatever that was blocking you. That a corporation, a tower moment is coming down for a corporation and they're finding out the truth about a corporation and what they have done. You have the energy of tower is 16, 6 and 1 is 7. You're on the good part. Infinity, wisdom and abundance is going to be coming out for the people who were born on the 23rd. As we look at the people who are born on the 24th, we have the energy of balance. The energy of balance comes in where we have the energy of the um, a, um, a guided angel that is protecting a lot of you women in this year and trying to protect you from some sort of a devastation. So you women, you scorpion women, whatever that was happening and transpiring, there was some sort of a devastation around you. And I see a guiding angel came, is going to be coming in in this year and protecting you from the devastation that is around you. Because it's as if some of you were not seeing what was happening and transpiring. And I see a guiding angel came in and put a shield around you, ladies, in order to protect you. And this is going to be good. For men, it's the same thing. Some sort of a guiding angel, some sort of a protection from the universe is going to be coming in to protect you guys. It's a year of judgment. And I see they're going to be protecting um, you scorpions who were born on the 24th, uh, 24th of uh, October because they realize uh, uh, some sort of a falseness that was created. And I see success is going to be coming in, especially for women who... Uh, uh, women and men who have their own business who were born on the 24th. So this is good. Um, so you have balance, which is 14, five changes is coming up for you ladies. And I see, um, some sort of, uh, protection is going to be placed over you ladies. And this is good. Nine and, uh, a uh, five, 14, nine, five and 14. As we look at the people who were born on the 25th, you have the energy of the star. This is a beautiful, beautiful year. The judgment call, the energy of the star. You're going to be successful over a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. I see an end come for this person. Whatever this person have done, this person is between the age of 18 and 45. I see an end came in for this person because they have realized the lies and deceptiveness of this person and who this person was and how they created some sort of a deceptiveness that has to inspire. So I see Elin, the energy of the star, and Elin is here, a wonderful positive alignment of energy where um, I, this person, whoever this person is and whatever they were doing, I see um, a, a sort of a transition is going to be coming up for this person. The end is coming in for this person because they realize how this person have created a lot of issue. And I see they're ending a situation. And the person is between the ages of 18 and 45. So this person could come up as a child. It's, it's, it's about the movement. So some of you be aware of the movement. Um, it's as if people wanted you to pay some money. You don't have to pay the money back. So it's as if some of you were... Um, extorted a whole lot of money and someone is trying to extort you for a whole lot of money and they end it and said no this is not happening um this is ending now so this is good so um congratulations the energy of the star ending a situation where people were um kind of blocking you and creating a lot of issues for you it's going to be ending and this is going to be extremely extremely positive please like share thumbs up these videos and um, let me know how it goes. You can always order your, um, uh, yearly, yearly reading. Your, this is the solar year reading. So if you are and you want to, you can also order this solar year reading. 
and you can um still order the birthday readings i love you guys i am saying namaste until next time